Any thoughts on this uh, past election? When you look at it, they fought the black male for uh, a lot of things that happened in this election, you know. I think that it's been... You said told, they, they, uh, they what? You know, they, they look at it like the black male. Oh, the black male, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's one okay. of the reasons why, you know, the election went the way uh, that it did. You know, a lot of times, you know, people are trying to point the blame or whatever, you know, and I think that, you know, if you hear political strategies or whatever, they'll tell you to, you know, focus on the black woman. And a lot of times they don't put up, shine the light or they don't bring us what we need, you know. You can't uh, continue to, to tell us one thing and do another. Correct. I, you know I, what I mean? Look, you, got, you, got to, you got to be, you know, that might be a little different than the way you feel about things. I think, I, it sounds like we're kind of on the same page, man. You know, I just think um, when you look at um, the demographics in the election, blacks, we vote 95% one way. Yeah. But every other group is about 50-50. There's no animosity. There's no no hatred because somebody in the group decided to vote the way they thought would benefit their own individual family. I think that is how we should think from this point on. I think all black people should be independent. If people um, assume that they automatically have your vote, you have no, you have no leverage. Yeah, you, you have, have no power. Leverage. I love all the work that you're doing in the community, not just in our community, but in communities all around the country. So anytime we get an opportunity to um, to tell people what you're doing, how you're impacting um, the least of the, uh, we have to do it. Yeah, that's a great thing, man. You know, and that's what New Orleans is all about, man. You know exactly that. You know, it's about you know representing people. You do what the person is that you love, man. So, and a lot of times in elections, you know, that's the way. You know, I think the Democratic Party. You know, a lot of us are. You know, we become a fan of the party, and it doesn't matter who running the party, it doesn't matter what they saying, you know, they automatically, you know, uh, just vote one way, and, you know, we go down the, the ballot and we just vote for them. Let me tell you the difference, though. Mm -hmm. I got something out of Minnesota that lasts last me a lifetime. Mm -hmm. I've never got anything out of the Democratic Party. Uh, now, let's just say this, man, I'm from Mississippi, you know, so, um, I, you know, we, I am... You know, my entire family, man, you know, we, we vote with the Democratic Party. But I like to sit down and I like to, you know, uh, hear each and every candidate. As a person, that's why I think people like you are ultimately important to get people that actually care, people that's willing to go against the grain, people that's willing to have their own voice. You know, a lot of times people come to us, man, you know, let's just say, you know, in our business or whatever, man, we, we, we do a lot, you know, and there's a lot of different people that's running for a lot of different office, you know, they come down there and they talk to us and, you know, uh, you hear a lot of bad things about them or whatever, but man, after you meet these people, after you understand these people or whatever, man, you see these are great people. Man, I have no problem with anybody holding me yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. Zero. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, I'm willing to work with anybody. If I, you know, if, if I can come in and work with um, the people that I worked with in 2010, 2011, man, and still be successful, I pretty much know what I'm doing. I've been in those rooms before. So it wasn't difficult for me to sit down at the table with six of them and negotiate because I know I can negotiate. Tell us about New Order. Well, New Order is a national human rights organization, you know. It was started in 1992 by Gerald Rose or whatever. He started in Ohio. And actually, you know, he moved it here to uh, Atlanta, you know, and uh, his headquarters is in, in Cobb. And uh, Gerald is a family, you know, he got a background in civil rights, mm -hmm. you know. You know, that's where he, he gets it from, his father or whatever. He did a lot in the civil rights era. So, you know, uh, Gerald, naturally, you know, being a, carrying the legacy on, you know, he started uh, New Order. And he started in 1992 and is here, you know. What is your role in, in uh, New Order? Well, in, my, in New Order, I am the Secretary of the State. Recently, I just got a promotion to that position. And um, what it entails is it's just, you know, uh, to keep in communication with everybody, you know, on top of the cases, um, to communicate with, you know, the people in the field, you know, to be that force between them and Gerald, making sure that everything is doing what it's supposed to do, you know, listening on, you know, legal cases. And he'll let me know, hey, look, Anthony, can you focus on this? And that's, that's what I do. Gerald has a lifetime of this, you know what I mean? And, you know, he, you know, when you're around him, when you see the work that he's doing, if you are having anything that you're doing in the community, 
you have to want to be a part of something that's, you know, benefiting and impacting the community with the way it is. Like you yourself, you know, a community is first for a lot of us, you know. You do you have done a lot of great work in the community, you know what I mean? So it comes you know, naturally for a lot of people that, you know, is community first, you know, so they want to be a part of something that's doing what he's doing. Now, Gerald has told me that you guys are not just working here locally in Atlanta. You guys are pretty much fighting around the country. Yeah, yeah, man, it's national. You know, wherever there's a need and where the voice is needed, at, that's where we go or uh, whatever. I think recently Gerald just come out of uh, Virginia, Alabama, uh, 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 Henderson, North Carolina. You know, wherever there's an issue at or whatever, you know, New Order is, you know, we, we, we there. You know, that, that's what New Order is all about. It's not uh, Georgia based, it's national. Just about organizing a protest? What, what, what is it that you guys do to protect the communities? Well, it's according to the need. You know, if it needs to be one, if it needs to be two, if it needs to be three, if it needs to be five, whatever you feel that there's a need for, that's, you know, that's who will travel along with him. There's going to be security there, you know, provided by the Nation of Islam. You know, we like to say thanks to them, you know, for, for providing it. You know, we never don't let money get into the problem, you know, come between what needs to happen. Can you speak to um, the strategy, the logistics? You know, you said you had, you sometimes you may have people already in a particular area. Talk about the coordination, how you guys are able to pull people together. Well, let's just say this. Um, first of all, you know, uh, New Order, they, we deal in facts, you know, so let's just say uh, if there's an issue or whatever, you know, generally they'll get a complaint form and you'll fill out the complaint form and the legal department will look over it. And when the legal department look over, they'll be in communication with the victim and, you know, they'll talk and, you know, we'll try to find out all the detailed information that involves with this case. And then after looking at it clearly, you know, when the legal department look at it, they feel like, hey, there's a case that the jury has another step where he take and he let other eyes take a look at it, you know what I mean, before we pursue the case, just making sure all the facts are there. Can you talk about some of the high profile cases that you guys have covered recently? Well, let's just say this, uh, you know, there's a hanging in Henderson, North Carolina, where there's a young truck driver. I heard about uh, that. Yeah, you know, he was, what, 21 years old, man, and you know, he's driving truck. He delivered there at a Walmart location and, and they found him home. And of course, you know, uh, it's a black man, Henderson, uh, North Carolina, which I've been in communication with her or whatever. And it's the first black mayor. It's the first African-American mayor and female in Henderson, North Carolina. So she was getting a lot of heat for, you know, the happening on her watch. But, you know, after speaking with her and, uh, you know, she, you know, it wasn't actually in the city limits. It was in Vans. It was out in the county. So the sheriff's department dealt with that. That's a high profile case. He just come out of, of Virginia where a lady was falsely accused. He went there and, you know, um, you know, looked into it was that case. And now that case have been, you know, turned over, you know, as, as far as the lawyer's concerned. And I think one of the questions you was like, you know, how can he get uh, people in places or whatever? You know, he has a team of lawyers. He has a team of people, man. It, I, I just got to give him, you know, credit for you know, bringing together a strong organization of people, you know, that would reach out. I don't know what our community would do if we didn't have people like yourself and, and Gerald in place, man, to stand in the gap. Too many times, man, we um, we are the victims of injustice. We didn't have um, community leaders, people that fought for our community like yourself, man. I couldn't imagine where we would be at this moment in time. But, you know, again, you know, that's what, that's what it's all about, man. It's, it's a love for people. You know, it's, it's one, just being a voice for the voiceless, you know, a lot of times, you know, I can say, let's just say you yourself, you know, um, you pretty much have a Rolodex to where if things wasn't right, you know, you can generally call somebody your, yourself, first name, faces, and they absolutely know who you are. Yeah. They're not privileged to have those numbers in their phone. So what do those people do, you know, that have fought, in, you know, have faced of injustice or whatever? That's the beautiful thing about this organization, you know, you call a new order. And a lot of times, you know, his phone look a lot like your phone, yeah. you know, you know, you can reach out and, you know, get the right people on the line to make sure that those people, you know, get get justice. Uh, we are uh, New Order National Human Rights Organization. We are Voices for Voiceless. Uh, if we can be contacted, it's www.nohro.com.